All right, tubes, covers on. Next step is flywheel. So uh, we've got to line it up. Line up with close to where the key goes. That's good. Put the key. So see it a little better. Okay, good idea. You're half a mile away. So the key goes right here. Looks like it's lined up pretty good. Should go in. That should go in pretty easily, so that's how we'll know when it's lined up. Try turning it around. Hmm. Normally we don't have this much difficulty. It must be off by just a tad. I know you can't see anymore, but had to do what we had to do to get it in. So next, our pulley goes on top. Our washer, which is slightly concave or convex, depending on how you look at it. Uh, I think we decided that the, uh, the convex part goes down, right? Yeah, it'll work. Almost acts like a spring. Right. Now keep in mind this is reverse threaded. It won't take you too long to figure it out, but I thought I'd save you the trouble. Go ahead. A little road king help you there. That's good. Alright. So the next thing we're going to do is check our air gap. So I'll show you these things. Uh, Road King here, he's got a couple different ones. Here's the one for Tecumseh. Uh, this yeah, one's... You know, people people say, you know, use a use a business card and everything. You know how to work and everything, but... Yeah. There's some... This this is the, what's supposed to be used. I've used that for right. almost 40 years. That's the brakes. You see, it even, it even conforms to the yeah, shape that? of the flywheel, so... That's what we use. But you'll see, you know, like he's here. Where's your camera? Right up here. You know? is is a 75,000, so... Hundred or twenty-five thousandths, uh, thirty thousandths, you know. So it's it's not all that critical, but if you're gonna do it, do it right. And it'll right. probably cost twenty-five cents next time you're at the the lawnmower repair shop picking up parts. Probably. So what you do is you just slide this in here, and then this is my favorite part. You turn this to your right where show the them, show them where your magnets are. Uh, okay. You see the magnets right there? Yeah. Okay. You spin it around to where your uh, the magnets are underneath, just like that. Now, loosen up the screws. Loosen up your coil. Screws on the coil. You don't have to loosen all that. Yeah, much. that's true. Because that's, that's a pretty strong magnet. Yeah, it surprises me. Keep your hands out of the way and them guys will see it. It'll jump into place. It'll, it'll adjust itself. I'm going to zoom in a little, might be able to see it. Yeah, there you go. Oh, look at that, look at that, crystal clear. Alright, watch. I can actually feel the magnet on through the screw. Hmm. Anyway, watch. Oops. See that? Look at it. There, there, there it, it went. Right it did place. it. Now we just tighten it back up. Hmm. I'll zoom out for you so you don't have to watch my hands. Yeah. I almost didn't see it jump in place. Live television, all right? Yeah, that's right.
Now, what we do is turn this, slides right pull it out, and there's our air, perfect air gap of 120. Give me my gauge, that's been around longer than you, boy. Okay. I, say, I say that's been around longer than you. <laughs> perfect 125 thousandths. I don't know, I never, I don't know what the gap is. Oh, but, yeah? But that's a, that's a Briggs gauge. Hmm. That's probably pretty close, then. Yeah, I could probably tell by comparing yeah. it to the Thompson. Right. I'll show you this real quick while he does that. We were able to re recycle this. This this isn't the original spark plug wire, but this we actually salvaged from Maytag. But this will work it's good. The original one. The original one was all buffered yeah. up. Yeah, you see that? It's all. So we just recycled. Yeah. So th this this wasn't even soldered on here. Uh, you can't see what I'm doing. Yeah, it goes it, it goes right around here and then up to here. We'll show you that. Well, actually, I'll probably just leave it. So I will show you right now. See that? You just wrap that wire around and crimp it. It's just, it's just like Maytag. Mm -hmm. All it does is wrap right around here. And as Root King said, crimp it. Hmm. There we go. If you're right, I've come to the conclusion that that might be a 125,000. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's done. Uh, let's see. What, what, what do you think we want to do next? We might be getting a little long on this video. Oh yeah. So we might want to we want to well, want to stop here. Yeah, stop and we'll continue on. But uh, All right. like you say, we probably we probably got two videos in there. Yeah. I right, stop. We'll start over again. Alrighty. Okay, tubes. We're gonna put our spark plug in here. This is our our antique Briggs and Stratton plug, the one that came with it. And you could actually see it's got the uh, Briggs and Stratton logo right on there. And we cleaned it up, we wire wheeled it so it looks nice. But we're just gonna put it in so that it doesn't, you know, we don't get any junk in there. You chased some threads, right? Yeah, I did. Yeah, we did that with the, uh, with the tap, the spark plug tap, that worked good. Put our recycled spark plug wire on here. Put your Maytag wire on. That's all for that, that's all there is for that. Huh. What do you want, the shroud? You want me to shroud here? Yeah, yeah, give me the shroud. I'll put that on. You did a nice job with that paint, buddy. Oh, thank you. Let me see if I can find you the screws go on there. Now you notice on the newer Maytags, they are not the Maytags. It's not a Maytag. Ah, you, you distracted me. You killed me. On the newer Briggs, they have a little, little, a notch. Yeah, 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 little bump there so you can get the spark plug through, but this doesn't have that, so we just put it around the side. That's fine. Look at that. Yeah. Get your fingerprints on it. I'll try not to. That's right. Yeah. Uh, what? Something's off here. I think I turned a little bit. Hmm. Still having a little trouble. Uh, you know what? I think the wire's yeah. The wire's supposed to go around this side because if you look on this side, it goes, oh, comes yeah. down like this. But on the other side, there's nothing there. So we probably should have done this the other way. Okay, well, that's good. But yeah, it'll work. Good catch. Yeah, that's that's what it's supposed to be. I don't think we have any. Well, no. I'm looking at this other one here and see where that plug was. You know what? I, I think I think I have the wrong screws here. Here we go. That's the right one. Take it off. I think there might be a hole on the side there. A hole on the side. Yeah. All right, show the show. We messed up here. Oh, we did. Take a look at this. A little different. Well, you can see. You see these two holes here? We think that's for the spark plug. Yeah. That makes a little more sense. Yeah. So. I had a feeling it came out the right, but yeah. uh, that's where it comes in handy to have a couple of these engines sitting around. Oh, yeah. I, the only reason I knew I went over and checked the other Well, here's, the, here's the, uh, the problem with that is we can't fit the top through here, so we're going to have to take it off. Go ahead. Right. Go ahead, man. Well, I know you put a lot of work into that, so I wanted to double check with you. It's okay. You gotta do it right, even if you gotta do it a couple dozen times. Yep. Yeah. Well, that'll just fit now. Yeah. But it will fit. Yeah. Pause that for a second. And yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get that set up. Home. 